Hello and welcome everyone. This is Soham and you are with me with my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can build your own password generator application. An application that will have a GUI flavor on it, like you don't have to run this entire program through a terminal. Rather, you will have a executable, no dependence on machines, no dependencies on other libraries and all. Just open up the executable by double clicking on it, give the required input, your password will be ready. Now I have divided the entire series or entire tutorial in five uh, episodes. So in this, uh, in, in today's episode, which is episode number one, I'll show you the raw code or I'll show you a step by step of coding the raw code for this password generation. Raw code in the sense, the raw functionality, right? Generating the password. In the next video, I'll show you how you can have the generated password uh, in a PDF file that would be generated on your system and that PDF file would itself be encrypted via a, another password. Then on the next uh, episode, I'll show you how you can share the password for the generated PDF file via email so that the entire thing would be more secure. In the last series or the last episode, I'll show you how you can wrap the entire uh, coding or the functionalities with a uh, GUI flavor on it. I'll use Steve Hinter for that. So that would be our last uh, tutorial for it. And I'll also show you how, how you can gen uh, share the a password for the generated PDF file containing the password via other channels like WhatsApp, messaging, and uh, automated phone call. That would be our last part of this series. So, okay, so uh, let's get started and see how we can develop the main functionalities today. Okay, so first thing first, we need to input some module. So let us first import the string module because I am going to use it extensively here. Okay, first let me tell you the basic approach or idea of generating the password. So I'll ask user to give some input. Uh, let's say for example, uh, length of the password. It can be anything like 6, 10, 20, anything. And then I'll uh, make a combination of words like uppercase, lowercase, special characters, digits, etc. Now, how to uh, divide, like how many of them would be digits? How many of them would be uppercase letters? And how many of them would be lowercase letters? That would entirely depend upon me, me as a developer. So I'll set the weightage of every individual uh, characters. So you'll see how, how to do that or how I have thought of it. So first let us proceed, then I think gradually you will get an idea of how, how my thinking process is going to be. Anyway, so that is my first line of code, uh, that is the import of string module. So, okay, let us first mm, define some functions with a proper name so that it would be readable by anyone. So let us first define a function which would be able to generate some random, let's say uppercase letters, okay? So I'm going to name it as def uppercase letter generator. So this function would be responsible for generating uppercase letters, which would be part of my password. Okay, so now for storing that password, I have to have a global variable because I'm going to write some more functions like the lowercase letter for digits, but ultimately I have to store all those generated characters in a global variable. For that, let me declare a variable and name it as, what should it be, okay, generated password and let me initialize with nothing or let's say null 
okay and let me refer it here by this keyword so that my function would know that i'm going to refer the global variable here not the local one so without prefixing the global clause it would understand that it is a local variable to this function so i have done my reference here now let's create a variable for the letters now i'll use one of the function inside string library or module which call ascii uppercase so this would generate sorry string dot ascii uppercase so this would generate all the uppercase letter for english alphabet for u so you don't need to look through the entire character set or entire alphabet set okay, so that's the beauty of python so everything is very handy anyway so i have my uppercase letters ready stored in this letters now i have to loop through the characters and and store it in the generative class of variable so let us open a for loop here for i in uh, okay so i have to have a definite number for looping through rather the number would represent how many letters do i want so for that let me do one thing let me uh, parameterize or sorry i mean variableize this uh, function so let me use a variable for length and for i in range length so my loop would be based on this length variable let's create another variable selected care is equal to well i'll use another module let me import it that is the random one because i would like to leave it to the program or the model itself of what character to choose so random dot choice function would do that for me just pass the variable where i have all the uppercase letters so randomly a character would be chosen and would be stored in selected char variable now once i have a, a character uppercase char letter in the selected char variable i'd like to store it in the global variable generated password so that would be this plus selected char well i can use the shorten expression but for simplicity i am writing this equal operator here so this function would be equipped enough to generate some random uppercase letter and store it in the global generated password variable so before moving forward let us print this uh, functionality of this small piece of code okay so once done let me uh, print the generated password variable here well but for that i have to call that function so call it from here and pass integer number here like 5 so it should generate 5 uppercase letter let us run it well if you see the output here we have successfully generated five uppercase letter here so our function works perfect let me delete this print statement delete this function okay before deleting i should comment it out anyway so i have one function of uppercase letter generator so let me copy it because i need to have other functions for 
the low voltage generator to low voltage generator okay in that case that is going to be changed to lower case everything would remain same because that functionality will remain same if i have all the lower case letters in letters variable i'm going to choose randomly one and will append it to this generated parcel variable okay so that is done for lower case then let us do it for a digit generator that is going to generate digit from 0 to 9 okay so generate password not here another function is there which is called string i guess digit yes okay so once Okay, all these things. Okay, let me uh, change the name of this with digits or rather digit, and I look to the digit itself. Okay, so here is where it changed. Digit and password that that is going to be missing. Okay. Well, I have my digit generator here. Let me copy it. Now I have to have another function for special character generator. cat generator let's rename it with a meaningful one special care okay now the function that is going to generate that is responsible for generating special characters is called punctuation which is inside this string module so I'm going to use it so for i in okay i have done a mistake here that should be linked because that defines the number of loops that is going to happen here same would be applicable here also now selected care is equal to random link choice here that is going to change to special character and generate password would remain same so i have all the functions ready for generating all the combinations of uh, uh, password uh, elements like uppercase, lowercase, digits, and special characters. Now, once done, what I have to do is now I have to think of a logic that would uh, define the weightage of each of these functions. Weightage in the sense, let's say, user has given an input of six. Uh, character length the user wants a password which would be uh, with, of the uh, length of a six character now how i would decide that among these six how many would be for digits how many would be for special case and how many would be for uppercase so for that let us define the weightage as a variable here and let's see how we can proceed so let's uh, I what I thought of is I would put the maximum weightage for special characters. Okay, so special weightage is equals to forty percent. Well, can't give a forty percent like this because ultimately I have to calculate the number of letters that is going to be equal to 40 percent so let us represent it this way so equivalent of 40 percent if i if i represent it through a fraction or yeah so so you can write it okay for for, for the one thing for readability let us write it in this way special weightage is 40 then uh 
digit weightage. So let us give it a spending, then lower case weightage. as well and then upper case weightage is equal to 20. So that is going to be my uh, uh, weightage for each of the elements of a password. So once this is done, okay, I have forgot to uh, take one thing which is the essential part input from the user so for that we can have one variable called let's say path length that is going to be an input let us print a message here hey, just tell me Length of the password using leave a message recommended. Sorry, is H. Well, that's it. That is for prompting the user. Do one thing, just convert it to int. I'll show you how to uh, apply the error handling here. If if the user mistakenly gives something else rather than some numeric, then our program shouldn't terminate by some abrupt error, rather to terminate by a proper message. But the error handling part uh, also. Uh, I mean, I'll show you the error handling part also. Anyway, so that's the input part from user. So this is done. That would get it would be when storing this pass length variable. Well, I have done it all. So now, let me show you how how to implement this. Thing. Now uh, I have to extract percentage from the number given by the user. Let's say. The user has given uh, six, so 50% of six should be three. I have to calculate it, or rather extract it, and call the appropriate function for it so that it would generate the digits or passwords accordingly. So let us see how, how to implement this. Now, as I said, that I'm, I have given the maximum weightage to special char special characters. So let us first calculate special uh what should I say special case length. So now there is a function called ceiling function. If you are not aware of ceiling function, I recommend you to Google it. It's a very easy mathematical function. You will get an idea of, of what it does. Now for that, for using the ceiling function, I have to import another module called map module. So import map module here and I'll use it here. So map dot ceiling. Now I have the entire length in my pass length variable. Now I have to calculate 40% of it. Now 40% means 2 divided by 5. So that is D1. So I have to calculate 40% of pass length. Well, that is done. Then I have to convert it into int. Otherwise, it would throw me error where I'm pass it to the uh, functions that I've designed, uh, written here. So I have my special case length here. Just so, so basically, this special case length would consist of 40% of my entire length. So, what should be the next step? 
it should be nothing but calling this function with the calculated length. So just replace this one. So done. Now I have to calculate what is the remaining length of my password. So passing is equal to. I don't know why I am repeatedly making this typo. So pass length is equal to pass length minus the length we just have calculated. Okay. Now if this pass length is greater than or equal to 1, then I should make my next choice. Now, uh, just uh, see one thing we I have given the maximum weightage to 40% and all the others have been given 20% so it doesn't matter which I call first which I call last so let's go by this order only so I'll call the digit function if some password length is remaining so if password length is greater than or equal to 1 I would use the same thing as this one so let me copy this one. So paste it here. Now I'm going to call the digit. So let me remove this one. And that should be going to change as 1 by 5 because that represents 20%. I mean 20%. Okay, so. That is my digit length. So once my digit length is calculated in this variable, I just have to call this function here and pass the digit length. Well, this is done. Now, what I have to do is so just okay, just call it here. So that is going to get my digit. Once my digit has been generated, I have to see the remaining length of my password. So for that, okay, I just need to copy and paste this. length minus the digit length this one so that is my pass length so now I have to check the same thing again if pass length is greater than equal to 1 then I would check for the lowercase then lowercase length is equals to I should copy this one uh, because that is I don't know why my mouse is not working Pass length star one by well done. This is going to be lowercase length, and then I have to call the lowercase letter generator function. Lowercase letter generator with lowercase length done now check the same thing that is the remaining pass length so pass length is equal to 
pass length minus lower case length. Well, now I have left the only uppercase generator. So for that, just revise this condition because I don't need to use the map function further because that is going to be that is going to be my last function to call. So every return equals to one, then I will simply call the uppercase letter generator with pass length. Well done. So now I have to see what has been generated. So for now, let me write a print statement. Print the generated password variable because that contains my password. Well, let us run it and see how many bugs I'm going to have. Well, the first bug is okay, that's a typo again. Yes, this one. Well, my password is not working. I don't know why. Yes, I am going to bring my cursor here. So let me run it again. Well, what is this one? I haven't encountered such. Okay, that is some, I think, internal thing. So Cancel it, hit it, run it again. Well, now it is asking me for the password. Fine. Now we give eight as recommended. Well, that's the one. That's the generated password. And I think it's a very tough one to. I mean, it's a very you know, a strong password. I, I must say. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight helper password has been generated. Let me run it again and we calculate whether the distribution of characters has been correctly uh, evaluated or not. So let me give thing here and hit enter. Well, we have a weightage of forty percent for the spatial character. Here, forty percent weightage is given. So forty percent of is four. So one, two, three, four up to this is a special character. Then uh, I have I think used the number that is three percent. Yes, after special special I'm calling the digit generator. Twenty percent weight is given, so it should be two, three, six. Fine. After that, I have called lowercase, so two lowercase should be generated. But I can see only one lowercase letter generated. So that is not going to be the correct one. Well, what I think is it is showing the correct. Because I have used the ceiling function. Now, if we calculate here, so four characters are reserved for uh, special characters. Then the next two is for digits. So six gone. Remaining four. Now what is 20% of four? So 20% of four is nothing, but by like it's just uh, one by five into four. So four by five. So that is when ceiling function has been applied here, it will be evaluated to one because your I mean if you calculate this you will have point something which is written point five but less than one. So that's why it has created one per case letter. So the remaining three there is no calculation applied. It would just uh, 
you can write three after the signature because I am sending the remaining lint as path name to the uppercase letter generator function. So successfully we have generated our password and it is completely variableized. It would depend on user requirement or user input. So that's it for that's the implementation of the raw functionalities to the raw code. In the next uh, series, or if, I mean in the next episode or the next tutorial, I'll show you how you can have this generated password securely placed in a PDF file that itself is going to be an encrypted one. Means the password that has just we have just generated would be stored in a PDF file with some name and with some password. So only who knows the password would have access to that PDF file. Okay, so that's it for today. If you have enjoyed the video, just press the like, do share and please subscribe. That would motivate me to come up with more such ideas and show you how to implement that. Thank you very much.